Hello everyone. Welcome to our webinar detailing the new ArniScope VS products for the Discovery Ultra. Just a few notes. You will be muted during this presentation. Please use the chat feature available to you to ask your questions while the presentation is in progress. If we cannot answer your questions during this webinar, we will get back to you offline. My name is Vinay Fo, and I'll be your presenter today along with Adrian Marillo, Development Manager from Roche Tissue Diagnostics. I will present how RNAScope works and introduce the VF Universal assays that will be released at the end of November in the U.S. and early next year in Europe and the rest of the world. This includes our VS Universal AP and HRP assays, as well as VS Duplex, our red-brown combination. Adrian Murillo, Development Manager for Roche Tissue Diagnostics, CDX, and Discovery, will speak to the Roche product configuration and software that accompanies the RNAScope VS Universal kit. He will also speak to the mRNA universal procedure used to run the assays on the Discovery Ultra and conclude with presenting data on HRP and the dual IHC stain. RNAScope is based on a proprietary in situ hybridization technology based on a unique probe design and signal amplification. This platform has the sensitivity to detect most genes in situ as well as quantify multiple RNA targets. Just as any in situ assay, RNA, the RNAScope assay involves permeabilizing properly prepared samples to allow complementary oligoprobes to bind to the RNA target of interest. The specific signal is amplified using our double Z probe system, which is subsequently detected and quantified. The assay is extremely universal as well as rapid and scalable. To design a specific probe for your target of interest, ACD requests we request you to provide us with either the accession number information or the exact sequence of the target. You could even indicate your region of interest for targeting with start and stop positions. Our bioinformatics scientists chat channel this information through, through the proprietary ACD alignment algorithm to select the optimal sequences to ensure target specificity and uniformity of oligo hybridization in the assay. Our algorithm evaluates the sequence composition for each oligo in the pool to ensure no cross hybridization with non-target RNA under stringent RNA scope conditions. The first key feature of the RNA scope technology is the probe design. We depict the oligonucleotide target-specific probes as these to emphasize the, the fact that they have two regions linked by a spacer. The bottom of the components, the bottom of the Z complements and hybridizes to the target transcript. The top of the Z is, is, is the base of the amplification structure. When the two Zs hybridize in tandem to the target sequence, it creates a unique binding site upon which the pre-amplifier can bind and the amplification tree can be built. A standard RNA scope probe for a target sequence of 1,000 bases or more will consist of 20 ZZ pairs pulled together and designed to hybridize next to each, each other along a target region. This allows for a tremendous amount of amplification and signal potential. However, only a few Z, ZZ pairs are needed to bind to the target RNA sequence in order to generate enough signal for molecular detection. The adoption of RNA scope is best exemplified by the abundance of publications in top journals. As of September 2017, we now have, have over 950 publications. RNA scope VS universal assays can be run fully automated on the Roche Discovery Ultra platform. The RNA scope universal assays are optimized for FSD. FFPE tissues, leverage the amplifi amplification kits from Roche Tissue Diagnostics, and can be visualized with any bright field microscope. The VS Universal assays for Roche's Discovery Ultra are three separate products leveraging Roche's universal protocol that Adrian will discuss in a moment. The VS Universal HRP is a single-plex brown assay allowing the ability to run ISH and IHC in a single run. It also enables single-plex fluorescent ish, and immunofluorescence combined. The VS Universal AP is a red assay allowing ish and IHC in a single run. We have named our assays by the, assay, by the enzyme assay substrates, AP for alkaline phosphatase and HRP for hydrogen peroxidase, as a plan for future chromogens in collaboration with Roche Tissue Diagnostics. Lastly, the VS Duplex assay is a red-brown combination to identify two targets simultaneously. The table on the right shows a high-level comparison of the, of the new VS Universal HRP, AP, and Duplex assays compared to our legacy VS 2.5 red and brown, 
Of noticeable differences, the VS universal assays contain raw material and formulation changes compared to our 2.5 assays, yielding a robust stain with reduced background for certain tissues. The universal assays are compatible with, with the Discovery Ultra instruments, while the VS 2.5 assay can run on both the Ultra and XP. To run the RNA scope universal assays, one needs the mRNA universal pro protocol. Adrian will go into further details about this in integrated protocol. Conversely, the RNA scope VS 2.5 red and brown assay both use separate protocols called mRNA 4.0 DAB or red. The newly released VS universal assays en enable a wide range of protocols, including duplex, as well as integrated ISH and IHC, ISH and immunofluorescence, leveraging many of the robust fluorophores that are currently available from Roche Tissue Diagnostics. Whereas with the 2.5 platform, it is not possible to run duplex, nor ISH-IF or ISH-IHC, which does require two separate steps. And as mentioned previously, in collaboration with Roche Tissue Diagnostics, our NASCOPE VS universal assays will be compatible with future chromogens released by Roche, such as Purple and Teal, launching in 2018. Now, in further comparing the VS Universal HRP and AP versus VS 2.5 brown and red, all pretreatments such as the target retrieval, protease, and DWAX remain the same. As mentioned earlier, the amplification components have been reformulated in the VS HRP and AP assays, while the 2.5 product leverages our, our current 2.5 platform. The detection substrates from Roche uh, remain the same. To maintain a robust stain, the VS universal assays are optimized with 10x SSC diluted to 2x, while the 2.5, while the VS 2.5 traditionally uses rival wash. For the Roche amplification kits, the mRNA, DAB, or RES are still compatible with the VS, HRP, and AP. There is a sample prep kit which has been renamed to the mRNA sample pre-treatment -pre kit containing target retrieval and DWAX. And now discussing the VS duplex kits in detail. Here we are presenting the workflow for the VS duplex. It starts with the pretreatments followed by incubation of, probe, of our probe cocktail combining C1 and C2 probes. The RNA scope workflow continues with various amplification complexes for both C1 and C2, followed by developing the red chromogen with, with the Roche red amplification kit. The mRNA link seen in purple is an enzymatic inhibitor to stabilize the RNA structure and enable the compatibility of the two assays. After the link is applied, the detection amps for, the amps for HRP are then amplified, followed by the components of the brown detection kit using the Roche mRNA amplification kit. And lastly, hematoxylin and bluing are applied. The next few slides will show some data that, was, that has been run in-house. Here we are demonstrating the capabilities of VS HRP, AP, and duplex. We are showing the VS universal HRP in the mouse brain for GRIN1, a glutamate receptor, and GAD1 in red for, for universal AP, and both these targets together with our VS duplex. Here we're showing universal HRP staining with lymphocyte activation gene 3, which is a cell surface molecule, and AP staining with PDCD1, an immune checkpoint marker, and then both targets together with VS, with using our VS duplex. To demonstrate the contrast, of the contrast and robustness of VS, HRP, and AP, along with Roche's chromogens, here we show staining in the lung cancer tissue that has black deposits from the lung tuber. We show keratin-19 using VS HRP. Keratin-19 is a marker for tumor cells in the, in the lymph, blood, and bone marrow in breast cancer patients. Using VS AP, we stain endothelial cells with PCAM1. And lastly, just focusing on VS duplex in the mouse hippocampus, and more specifically in the dentate gyrus, here we've identified neurons expressing different types of glutamate, glutamate receptors, NMDA in brown, and as well as AMPA1 in red. One added feature mentioned previously is the ability to run ish IHC. Here we are showing human tonsil tissue with PPID using VS universal AP and CD68 or CD138 in yellow using the VS Discovery yellow kit. In addition to ish and IHC, RNA -scope, the RNA scope VS universal HRP kit enables fluorescence ish combined with immunofluorescence. To do this, you would run RNA scope first and then apply any of Ventana's fluorophores. This would be followed by the discovery inhibitor to quench any endogenous HRP. 
then subsequently apply your primary and sec primary antibody, and then secondly your ventanafluor for fo followed by a counter stain. Here is an example of, of VS HRP fluorescent staining, where we've combined the VS HRP kit with 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 Roche's fluorophores such as FITSI, rhodamine, or Sci-5. As mentioned previously, one can then follow up with immunofluorescent staining of a protein, which Adrian will discuss next. And now I'm going to pass on this webinar to Adrian Marillo from Roche Tissue Diagnostics. Thank you, Vinay. And so let me just uh, get right into it. For those of you not familiar with uh, the, the current uh, setup in which uh, the Ventana ACD collaboration goes, uh, we sell the, uh, the probe amplification kits you see here, which are seven empty app kits. And in order to use the BS, the new BS reagents from ACD, uh, you would just utilize the existing uh, AMP kits uh, for, that are currently available on market. But the one new thing that we have done uh, with our collaboration is the fact that uh, we now have a new pretreatment or, or sample prep kit. So we are uh, no longer going to be using the, the mRNA DAV pretreatment kits for the new VS reagents. Those will still, the DAV pretreatment kits will still be required for the 2.5 reagents. But for all the BS, new VS reagents that are going, uh, we will only be utilizing the sample prep kit. And that was done in order to standardize uh, the pretreatments across both, whether you're going to be uh, detecting in red or DAV or in the future with some of our novel chromogens or even with our fluorescent, readily fluorescent uh, kits that we have. Um, so you would order uh, your, your pretreatment or your sample prep kit from ACD and plug them into the appropriate dispensers as you would your application uh, probes uh, from ACD as well as your target probe and uh, separately your pre-filled dispenser uh, detection from Ventana. Uh, the same goes for any users wanting to do single detection with RED. Uh, uh, you would utilize the mRNA AMP RED detection kit but again, you're going to be using the, the standardized, the sample prep kit that we'll be releasing soon. Uh, when uh, attempting duplex assays, uh, you will be needing uh, a few more reagents. So we have now a, a open 10 dispenser uh, kit. So unlike uh, the seven dispenser kits that we previously had released, uh, this, this is a 10 dispenser kit, which uh, you would have the reagents from ACD and, and, uh, and just plug them into the appropriately labeled dispenser. Again, uh, your standardized sample prep kit uh, with your target probes, which you would then cocktail. Uh, I believe ACD sells them uh, one cocktail at 50x concentration and the other one, you just plug it in. And also in the new mRNA link provided by Ventana, uh, which would enable uh, the, the ability to do uh, sequential detections uh, in bright field or in fluorescence uh, coming down the line. And all of this is done on the universal procedure, or the mRNA universal procedure, I should say. Um, uh, and this software, it enables the user to do uh, just a single plex, red or brown, or if they want, just a single uh, fluorescent-ish assay. Uh, also, um, we any of the single fluorescent ish assays are utilized uh, utilizing the existing uh, chrome or fluorophores that we have in our library uh, listed here. Um, but also the software currently enables to detect uh, in duplex chromogenic. So if you wanted to do a red brown assay, uh, you can do so and it all is fully automated. And also enables uh, users to uh, detect uh, two mRNA targets and then follow it up with IHC or one mRNA target and follow that with IHC or immunofluorescence. Uh, but more importantly, uh, this takes on the same adage as the current uh, universal procedure for any discovery users who are familiar with the system in that we utilize our customer feedback if there are features and options that, that, are, that are requested in the subsequent uh, sequences. Um, so after you you detect your, your, uh, your mRNA targets of interest. If there's anything that you would like to do after that, uh, you feed that back and, and we can make the necessary changes. Um, because of the uh, increased flexibility 
uh, of the software that this demands. Uh, it is only exclusively on the Discovery Ultra. Um, just to give you guys a, a little sneak peek as to what the software will look like, um, as you can see, the very first comment right there is that this is version 1. Uh, because uh, we rely heavily on user feedback, we do intend to iterate this as more and more uh, features uh, come down the line and more requests from customers, we will iterate this uh, and, and keep it uh, up to date uh, to meet the research demands. Um, but as you can see here, uh, you have your three options for, for mRNA detection. If you wanted to do a duplex or if you wanted to do uh, a red detection, you just select the AP detection. Or if you wanted to do uh, fluorescence or uh, DAV, you would then select the mRNA HRP detection. Um, this is just giving you a snapshot. Oh, so once you select the duplex, it opens up all the uh, different uh, styles in which uh, you, can, you can adjust for your ACD assay, RNA scope assay, um, with the recommended uh, incubation times listed for you to help you build your protocol. Um, again, if you just select the mRNA HRP detection, uh, this then uh, just shows you can utilize uh, discovery inhibitor if you're going to, if to quench any endogenous peroxidases, if you're going to utilize our uh, existing fluorophores from Ventana. Um, and so uh, here, just showing this is just a little bit further down of the selection queue uh, on the protocol editor uh, from our software. But you can see here that once you selected the, uh, the mRNA HRP detection, you have the ability to then, uh, once you define all your parameters for RNA scope, to then detect that with uh, any of our fluorophores. If you choose not to select any of our fluorophores, uh, it will just default to mRNA DAB, so it will default to a bright field uh, detection. Um, uh, another feature uh, that that we've built into this software, so it wants you to detect your uh, mRNA target or targets of interest uh, in the first sequence. Uh, you can select dual sequence for uh, subsequent ish detection if you like by using. Uh, uh, other probes. Um, I know some researchers out there have interest in in utilizing uh, uh, different probes from third-party vendors, um, microRNA probes or uh, siRNA probes, and, and you can then just plug that into uh, this assay here and then hybridize, find the parameters to hybridize these probes so that you could then uh, do RNA scope with another, another uh, probe and you could see uh, the two probes of interest or two targets or three targets of interest all in the same uh, context or in the same slide. Um, once you define that, you have your dual sequence. Uh, you don't have to use utilize other probes. Uh, if you want, you can actually just do uh, two uh, IHC or protein targets. Um, as you can see here, uh, all the different selections and, and flexibility uh, that you have at your disposal is similar to that of the current universal procedure that we have out there. That includes uh, beta test materials as well. Now, this is just an example showing uh, the capabilities that one can have with the existing version that's out there. Um, uh, so here we have an example of uh, mRNA decadherin uh, detected with DAB or the fluorescent version. Uh, which is with Discovery Rotamine 6G. And then we went ahead with the dual and the triple sequences uh, and did uh, some uh, IHC or aminofluorescence to detect uh, the other two proteins uh, in, in following that up. Uh, this is a zoomed in version of that. So you can see again the, with the DAB, we were able to detect uh, the mRNA of e cadherin and then uh, detect the protein of that with uh, Discovery Purple. And then uh, the teal HRP version is detecting, or I'm sorry, teal HRP is detecting the, the pan-keratin. And because all of these are driven by HRP and all of our fluorophores are uh, ceramide based, you can easily transition over from your bright field uh, assay over to fluorescence assay. And that's exactly what we've done here so you could just overlay the tune. Okay, 
So I will then hand it back to Benay. Great. Thank you, Adrian. In conclusion, I'd like to speak briefly about how to access the RNAScope technology. We have, both pro we have products for both manual and automated assays with over 13,000 probe designs, and we are able to develop any probe to your sequence. Probes and products can be ordered online. Furthermore, our products can be accessed through our pharma assay services. ACD's pharma assay services ACD's Pharma Assay Services team offers a fast turnaround time, around four and a half weeks from the time samples are received in-house to project delivery. They also offer high quality results, custom assay development and transfer, and data interpretation. If you have any questions, you can always email or call support. Also available resources can be, can be reviewed on our website. Our website offers plenty of information from technology to support to, support to products and applications. Thank you. So some of the questions that we were receiving online is how many RNA-ish targets can I run in fluorescence? At the moment, only one ish target can be identified. Another question is how does one get started with VS universal assays? Here on this slide, we're showing how to get started with the VS duplex assay. Uh, one would order the VS reagent kit. Uh, the target probes would be using our 2.5 VS target probes in, in channel C1 and C2. We also have control probes. Uh, we also have control probes available for for VS duplex. And then lastly, we also have control slides. Another question is, what components? What what are the components that ship with the universal assays? Here we're showing the VS universal AP kit components and the HRP kit components. The the four components that ship are the VS for AP, for example, is the VS universal AP detection reagents followed by the sample prep reagents, VS accessory kit, and target retrieval. Conversely, similarly for HRP, we would ship the VS HRP detection reagents, 2.5 sample prep reagents, accessory kits, and target retrieval. For duplex, we ship our duplex, uh, the VS duplex reagent detection reagents along with the universal sample prep reagents, accessory kit, and target retrieval. Another question we're having is when will VS kits be available? ACD's VS, HRP, and AP kits are available now uh, as part of early access. Please consult your ACD account executive. Our ACD VS duplex, ACD's VS duplex is available on a limited basis as part of the as part of our early access beta program in conjunction with Roche Tissue Diagnostics. And full launch will occur in late November in the U.S. and early 2018 in Europe. Another question we're getting is: Is the VS 2.5 going away. And as we, our answer to this is, as we transition to the VS HRP and AP, we will evaluate our options in six months. This concludes our webinar. We'll now be ending the session. Thank you for joining.